Okay. So today, what we are coming to talk about is uh, feature engineering. We are coming to talk about feature engineering. I hope uh, we all have heard about feature engineering. Okay. So when you said feature engineering, uh, it refers to the process of using uh, a domain knowledge to select and transform the most relevant variables from raw data right so here we are using the we are using the feature engineering to select uh, uh, and then transform the most relevant variables from raw data right and in machine learning you can also you can also add that when <coughs> creating a predictive model using a machine learning or statistical model right good so that's all about feature engineering and it's one of the i mean most important uh uh most important techniques when you are you are you are you are you are building your model right okay okay so yeah let me read the definition of machine learning i have uh, uh, future engineering i have so here is the process of selecting transforming and creating relevant features which is variables from the raw data to improve the performance of a machine learning model in data analysis and then machine learning the quality and then the relevance of the feature used to train a model can have a significant impact on its predictive accuracy and generalization capabilities right so here feature engineering as i said is is one of the techniques in what in machine learning right okay okay so let's talk about some key uh, aspect of uh, feature engineering so here in feature engineering these are some of them we have a uh, feature selection we have feature transformation we have feature creation handling missing values encoding categorical variables we also have uh, di dimensionality reduction and then domain knowledge all these things are out are uh, expert of for feature engineering but in this in this uh, <coughs> in this class we will focus more of uh, handling missing values and then encoding categorical variables right so the the handling missing values will help us to do what how we can how we can uh, uh, deal with a missing value when we have a data that that have a uh, missing value is in it how can we handling those missing values right so we go by this one this one and then the encoding categorical variables is a uh, when we have a, a categorical variables or a field that contains or a feature that is a that is a categorical variables so here what we have to do is we have to encode in using a one hot encoding this one one hot encoding method to do what to handle that categorical variables okay Okay, so let's let's take it one by one so let's talk about the feature selection so this involves choosing the most relevant features from the available data irrelevant or redundant feature can add noise and complexity to the model without contributing much 
to its performance. Feature selection method aim to identify the subset of features that are most informative for the tax at hand. So here, <coughs> using going by this uh, this technique, which is this uh, feature selection, when you have let's say ten features, which is columns, right? Ten features, and then. <coughs> You, you you realize that some of the features is not it's not it's not important it's not very important right so here we do what we have to delete or drop those kind of or those kind of features from what from your data right so let's say we have 10 10 features we can it depends on the tax you are doing so we can drop let's say three or four irrelevant or irrelevant features are you good yes that's called the feature selection. Then you select the the seven from the ten, right? Good. The another step is feature transformation, right? So <coughs> the raw data might not be in the suitable format for a specific model. Feature transformation involves converting, scaling, and all normalizing features to ensure they are on a consistent scale. And have meaningful contribution. Right? Common techniques include standardization and uh, standardization and then log transformation. So here, this this one talks more about uh, about uh, machine learning. It talks more about machine learning. When you move to this side, which is the the handling missing values. That's where we can also, we can say that hundred percent values is is more of a tax of a data analyst, right? And then the encoding encoding categorical variable. Okay. So here the feature transformation when you have uh, a data which is not in the right format. Let's say you can you can <coughs> you can talk about. Uh, uh, let's say the data types and then all those things right so we have to here we have to convert and do all those things change the data type and everything into a, into the right format that's where the feature transformation comes in okay then we also have feature creation so the feature creation deal with let's say you wanted to combine two features let's say we have a uh, we have a, a, a feature that is let's say last name and then first name and you wanted to you wanted to combine the first name and then the last name feature right but you are creating a new feature for for the for this first name and hot and then the last name right so that comes in with all the, the the concept of the feature creation that means you are creating a new feature for the odd <coughs> in the data frame you have okay then handling missing values so sometimes you may get a, a miss a, a data let's say you have seven or let's say seven columns and then let's say hundred rows of data then you realize that some of the odd some of the columns are, odd, are empty they are blank right Sometimes we have to do or we have to delete the the, uh, the column that has now values in it. Sometimes too we have to also uh, fill in. It all depends on how the kind of insight you are looking for. Some data, if if you have now values, you can delete the now value. Some too we have to do or we have to fill in, or we can even the filling in. We have we can go by the the mean. Or the mode, which is what the uh, the most occurring. <coughs> sorry, the most occurring what uh, uh, value, right? So <coughs> you look more into this one, the missing values, then the categorical variables. Sometimes when you are when you are working with your data that consists of let's say the agenda. Which is male and female, and you are building a, a model, 
and realize that this male and female can't fit the model. Why? Why? Because it's a categorical variable. So we use this, you have to encode the categorical variable into what? Into a numerical variables. So here, you can use 0 and 1. Let's say 0 to represent male, 1 to represent female. Right? So a typical example is this one here. We have red, blue, and green. This can be in a form of four, a form of let's say a column that consists of red, blue, and green. So here you can use zero to represent the the red, one to represent the blue, and then two to represent the the green. That means so you are encoding the categorical variable. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> okay any any questions so far hello uh, sir please are you recording it yeah sure okay okay that's your question yes okay okay uh any questions okay Okay, no question. Uh -huh, yes, yes, boss. Yeah, please. Yesterday's um recording uh, has it been sent already? Did I miss it? Oh no, I I sent the link, uh, the link in the group. I've I've uploaded it on YouTube, so the link is in the group, right? Even this one, I also uploaded in the, on okay, YouTube. So. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm waiting for questions. Okay, fine. If there is no question, let's proceed. Okay, so here <coughs> the domain knowledge. So incorporation domain knowledge can be crucial for effective feature engineering, understanding the context of the data and then the problem you are trying to solve can guide the creation of, of relevant and meaningful feature, right? So that's where the domain knowledge also means. So here we have to do what? We have to understand the data you are working with. So understanding play, I mean, it, 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 it even contributes about 70% of the whole thing. If you really, really understand the data very well, transformation or future engineering become more easy for you. Are you good? Okay. So let's move into handling missing values, right? So we have some, we have ways to handling a missing value. So here we have what the first one is identifying missing values right we should start starting by identifying which feature has missing values and then extend <coughs> the missingness so this can be done using a function like it's now we are all familiar with this is now right it's now to do what to check whether there is a now values in it right so anytime we have a, a data first thing you have to check whether there is a missing value it's very very important whether there is a missing value so you, if you identify the missing value then that's where you, you are <coughs> the next step is what whether that's where the decision you take a decision whether you drop all the miss uh, the, the the missing values or you do what you feed in the missing values Right. It all depends on the, 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 the project or the tax or the insight you are looking for. Okay, so the first, the next step is remove instances. So removing instances is what? You have to remove, sometimes you have to remove the, all the rules. Right? Remove all the, all the now from the, from the, from the data. Okay. So another one, another strategy is also removing the future. 
the future. So let's say there is one particular color you wanted to you wanted to remove. Maybe that particular column contains more missing values. So you wanted to drop that or that column. So you drop <coughs> you drop that column. Okay. Another one is we have something called impute imputation, right? Imputation. So the imputation consists of the mean median imputation. We have mode impute. We have forward forward field and back field. Then we have regression imputation. Then we have what we have KNN imputation, which is a K nearest neighbor imputation. So let's say we have a column, right? <coughs> let's say a column of uh, we have a column that consists of uh, let's say age, right? If we, if we have two columns, or let me say two features. That's name. That's a column name, which is what the feature name is called name and the age, each person and all. And you can realize that some of the the age column has what has a lot of null values. Let's say we have 10. The age column has a number, let's say three null values. The mean is you will find the mean of what? Of the age column. Then you use the what? The, the average to, what? to feed in that empty, that null values. You do practical, so you, you, <coughs> you understand, you get the more understanding when you, <coughs> when you start the practical. So if you have that, <coughs> that that uh, uh, that now values you find the odd, the the average of the odd of the whole the whole column then you use the average to do uh, to feed in and this one works with what with numerical data we also have mode impute the mode impute is the most occurring or the most frequent value so here the same <coughs> use the same data and uh, the same example if you have name and then people and their age you use the odd you use the uh, the most frequent value in that particular column to let's say 25 is the most the the, the most occurring value so that means that that odd all, all the three three empty empty uh, 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 on the all the three now values become what become 25 because you are going by all by mode impute that's what the most or the most occur and uh, the most occurring value <coughs> and then the next one is we have the forward field and the back field the forward field is let's say we have uh <coughs> your 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 now values is 10 that's rule 10 we have rules 1 up to 10 and then your now values we have root 10 is now value the forward the forward field the forward field takes the odd the 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 value before the 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 now the now value so the the value before the now value is what is that's rule 9 right so that means the rule 10 become what become <coughs> become the value the same value at what at rule nine the same thing implies the the back field the back field also take the odd the the value before the null value right so let's say we are using the back field to fill let's say rule 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 10 that means we, the value will pick what the value of rule 11 what will be the same value of what of rule 10 right that's the meaning of the forward field and then the back field okay <coughs> then we also have the regression imputation the regression imputation so this one is more about prediction right you are using regression to predict the values the empty the empty uh, the empty value that's where predicting the same value using a regression model based on the based on other features right so we are now now you don't know that the 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 null values you are using the regression imputation to do or to predict 
the value <coughs> and we also have the k and n so the k nearest neighbor is imputation is also it's <coughs> it chooses the values uh, from the closest the the the, the closest uh, values let's say we have we have values let's say we have uh, five we have six we have eight we have ten and then these are the values we have and we have one now values so that means you if you wanted to <coughs> use the 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 k and n imputation it will pick let's say we set the k to let's say two so that means it will pick it will find the average of those values let's say after finding the average of those values you are getting let's say seven right and then you say you set your k to let's say two it will pick the values that is closest to to seven two of the values that is closest to seven and then also find the average of that two values and all so that means your 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 value become the odd the, the your now value become the average of that two values right okay <coughs> okay any any questions so far hello uh-huh yes yeah, someone so it means that we can use any of these method to find the missing values right exactly oh, okay and it all depends on as i said it all depends on the the kind of tax or the project you are you are working you are working on i would okay oh, okay yeah sure Okay. Okay, we also have creative missing value indicator, right? <coughs> so you can create a, a a new binary feature that indicates whether the value was missing for a particular instance. It can help the Module learn it learn if the absence of a value has some predictive power, right? You can also go by this. But as I said, our main focus is what focus on the, the missing missing values. This one, okay. <coughs> so here, let's go into our jupyter notebook and then la let's start the the practical aspect of, of what we have discussed check here so open your jupyter notebook and then let's start uh, practical okay okay so let me let's start the practical okay so first of all today we are we are coming to work with only what we are coming to work with only 
uh, pa pandas right i think pandas and numpy yeah, because yeah okay so let me import my pandas let me import pandas okay now so let's create some uh, some data right so let me say data equals then you create a dictionary right so inside that dictionary let me say name that's my column and then uh, we are creating a dictionary for a name so let me say uh, inside inside the dictionary a name any name like uh, let's say Alice Alice and let me say uh, Amma sorry Letter Amma, then let me see. Uh, yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Um, please, we can't see your screen. Oh, you can't see my screen. No, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Let me. Can you see now? Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, so we are creating a dictionary. So and here let, let's create some now values here, right? So let me say the here is use this word now. And then let me create uh, another name like uh, <clears throat> let's see yeah right so this is the, our, our name column then let me let's create another one another one let's say H H H and then inside the H you see Alice is 25 Amma is and then let's see if not open brackets okay okay thank you okay then so Alice is 20 Amma coffee and let's say 28 then let me see no okay then let's create one one column let's say gender right other column for gender so here let's say uh, the gender part will be alice is what alice is male right the alice is female Am alma is uh, female Mm -hmm. F and then coffee is what coffee is meal good and here here we don't know the the name right we don't know that the <coughs> so let me see here is what here is also none so one two three four five one two three four five one two three four let me add one more to it let me add one more to it which is let's say uh meal good okay then let's put it in the data frame so df equals pd dot data Can you please copy that line and then put it in the chat box for us? Okay. 
Okay. The data. Okay, let me copy it. This one, right? Okay. Yes, sir. So now let's, as I said, let's put it in the data frame. Okay. So it's now in the data frame. How the data is here? Data frame. Okay. So I'll say DF. See my data. Okay. So this is the, all. This is the data we have. Then you have, you, you have now values in it, right? Good. So let's go by identifying identify missing values, right? So let me create uh, a header here. Let me see identify identify missing values. Good. Identify missing values. Okay. So yeah, we are now <coughs> we are now coming to identify the missing values, right? Okay. So let me create a variable called missing, right? Missing underscore values. Uh, that's the variable missing values equals. Because I say df dot is now is now is now. Right, good. Then that means I'm printing what I'm printing the missing out the missing values here. Good. <coughs> so now I'm checking the missing values. So here, all the false means what all the false means that is uh, all the false means there is not a missing value. But when you see the true, that means all there's a missing value here, right? All the true means there's a missing value. There's a missing value. You too, there's a missing value, right? We can also use we can also use this one to also check. We can also use here. I can add dot sum dot sum to it. Right, so yeah, I think this one is very simple. Here, the name and then the missing value. So the age has was one, a name has one, age has two, gender has one. Right, yes, okay. Please, can you scroll up for me one, one second? Okay, is it okay here? Yeah, okay, it's all right. You can come down, okay. okay okay so that's how we can how we can identify the missing values okay good now let's move to the next one say removing instances right so here we said that we can remove instances with your uh, with instance which is the rules right with missing values from the pandas data frame using the or the drop now method so here we can use the drop now method to do what to remove uh instances from our data frame are you good okay so let's use the same or let's use the same uh the same data we have here which is on the df let's use the df to to remove the uh, the missing value so here yeah, let me create a variable right a variable and then let me name the variable uh let me say remove let me make a heading here remove instance remove instance okay remove instance okay so let me say r r hot r i the ri means remove instance right okay remove instance so let me copy this one here then let me paste it here good 
and I will see uh, R. This time, let me use me, let me use small letter R I R I equals D F dot data data frame. Then inside it, I'll pass the word, the R I. Good. Then I'll say R I, and I'll get. So here we are coming to do what? We are coming to remove the instance. Okay. So here we can remove it by using the or the drop now. So here I will say let me create a variable called clean. A variable called say clean, right? Clean. Uh, R I, right? That's a the name of the variable. Then I will say the R I. R I dot. Let's say drop, drop now. So that's a drop now. Good. Drop now. Okay. Then let me print. Yes. Someone asking question. Yeah. No, someone. Sir, can, you, can you please call that for me? Up. Okay. Here. Yes, yes, okay, thank you. Okay. I can scroll down. Yes. Okay. So I'll say clean. Good. So here you see that we have what we have I have we have removed all the null values, right? So if four is gone, three is gone, and then yeah, one. four and three is gone. And one. and one yes good one two is gone so here we have removed all, all the null values right by using the now okay all the rows with null values have been deleted exactly 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 okay now let's also talk about one more one more thing say so we can also remove now uh, uh, instances or let's say rules Based on a, a specific color, right? A specific color <clears throat> having missing value, so we can use the subset perimeter to uh, of the drop now, right? Let's also try that one by using the subset to to drop. Okay. So here, yeah, let me create a. A header or comment let me be comment and let me say sub uh support i say subset right yeah, subset good so let me say clean underscore let's say subset so i'll see i'll use the ss for the subset so df dot drop the drop now so i'll pass the subset the subset equals let's say you wanted to remove the uh, the age the null values from the age okay let's check whether okay we have null values here all the null values from we are targeting age right so the null value from age then i will say age right okay i will say age uh, I think it should be in the, this this one for okay I'll say age and after that I'll print the and I'll score SS Good. so here we realize that here we have now values in the gender we have now values in our in the name but we don't have the now values in all in the age that means here we are we have target the age we are removing all the null values in the age only we can also do the same thing for the gender and the what and then the name i good i good hello okay 
Okay. So that's all about the removing remove instance. Now let's move to one thing. What is the remove future? The remove future. So here we will remove, let's say we remove the agenda, right? So here let me copy the same. The same data here. Okay, add to this side. So top here, I'll say I'll make a header called remove future. Remove futures. Okay. So instead of R I, I'll say R F. Right. Then I will say, let's say RF equals pandas dot dot data frame. The inside it I will say RF. RF. Okay. So RF. And here RF. Okay, good. So this is the data we have. Now we are coming to remove what? remove a future from it so here let me make a comment a comment here and say remove remove gender right so we are going to remove the gender so remove gender remove gender okay remove gender okay remove gender future let me add future to it remove gender future okay good then let me create can you please call that again okay okay uh, is it okay is it okay okay Yes, so let me say let me create a variable called remove remove f which is remove feature right then i'll say df dot drop right drop then here i'm dropping a column so i'll specify column i'll specify column and then the the column i'm dropping which is all gender so gender will come normally it, when you are doing all this dropping remember you add in place equals true right in place equals true so here i will say in place so that you specify that we are uh, we are dropping it from all from the origin i good i think i explained that yesterday okay true the place equals true okay then i will say remove f okay so dot say root uh, dot dot head oh, oh, oh. i've already run the code here so Uh, okay so i've already i've run the code so twice that's why it has it has come this way right because the error says key error gender does not exist so that means we have already removed the gender let's check let me let's check from this side let me print it then let me say remove copy the okay so remove let me rerun the code again right let me rerun everything again let me write everything here 
Okay. Let me start from here around it again. Oh, what is this? Let me restart the candle so that to restart everything. Okay. Okay, let me restart the candle again. Okay. But for the virtual address, I have to restart the candle again. <coughs> Okay, so here yeah, we have what we have removed the old, the gender color. I go so that's all about the removal of future, the features, right? Okay. So let let's talk about the impute. Let's talk about the impute. Okay, so let's use different data for the impute. Let's see different frame for input. So let me say input. Uh -huh. Yeah, someone. Yeah, I'm getting key error. They remove F now. They remove F, right? Yeah, key error. That means. Oh, oh, okay, share, share your screen. Let me let me see. I'm connecting with my phone. So let's. I'm coming. Let me connect it. Okay, so yeah, let's let's use different data. So let me say uh, data underscore f equals okay, the dictionary. Now to let's use h. Let's use h. Is it possible to use the same data to do it? Yeah, yeah, it's possible. Yeah, it. it's possible. But I, I want us to use different data. I mean, different thing. Okay. Yeah. No problem. You have no because uh, you have thirty. Then let's see, we have 28. Let's see here. Let's see, we have 35. 35 and 40. Okay. Then we have, let's see, salary. <coughs> Sorry, salary. Salary, the, the salary is what? This one salary is, let's say, 50,000. Then this one is 60,000. Oh, don't be that. <laughs> oh, don't be so let's say this one is 55,000. Then let's, this one is 75,000. Seventy-five thousand. Oh, I mean, it be naira or it be CD because this people they get money now. Oh, this one they go be, it go be, this one be pounds so more money. I travel. One, two, three, four, five. So we left. Uh, yeah. Okay, That's let's seven. Two, left two, two more, right? Okay. Okay, let's say this one be eight thousand. Okay. 
so let's put it in the frame let me use i m which is the impute equals d f dot data frame and the one okay so i am good so this is the data we have so let me i will copy them for you yeah. okay. okay thank you good so let's do the impute <coughs> So please, can you scroll up for me? Up here. Here. Yes, yeah, stay there. So I am coming. Yes, yeah, stay there. Okay. Okay, I done. Yeah, you can move on. Okay, so now let's talk about this one. So what we are coming to use is we are coming to use me, right? Sorry, use me to do what to feed in the the values, right? Okay. Then let me ask this: What's the difference between? Uh, mean and median. Mean and median. Uh, please, mean is is average. Okay. But median is uh, when when the uh, values are arranged in order, the one that falls in the center or the around the fiftieth quarter. The center space. Ah, okay. So the center. Okay. Okay, fine. So let's you are you are using the mean and median to do this, right? Good. So if you understand the okay. okay, so let me make a comment here. Uh comment. Say impute impute missing value. Which missing values uh without with mean. Okay. Okay, so I will say I am right. So you are taking it column by column. So the I am, let's take age first. So age, age dot. So we are using the field now. Field now method. Field now. The inside the field now, you see. Uh, uh, I am I am each then as I say we are using what we are using me right so I'll say me good then let's set in place equals true in place equals true <laughs> So the same thing I am H sorry we are this one is salary. Let's use the medium for salary. So salary. Uh, okay. The screen is okay. So use the field now. The field now. Then here the same thing. I am the I am is the word is the variable that's the name of word the variable of my data my data frame. So inside it I would say salary 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 
okay salary they here i'm using what median i'll say median median okay say in place equals true i would okay then let me print let me print there this one i am oh, yeah, the median is, is, is that the correct pronunciation oh thank you <laughs> thank you yeah that's how i'm getting there right? thank you yes 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 okay good perfect so now we are what we are filled in the on you see the mean and the median right okay okay are you good okay can i proceed can i proceed yeah okay okay any questions so far any question any question no question it's a no question okay so i'm good sir okay okay thank you okay so let's also talk about the mood right let's talk about the mood the mood section so i will say make a comment here then say impute impute missing values with with what with mood okay then here too i will say uh, i am no let me say i am o that's mood right then let's create a different data to here a different data let's say city city here so the city consists of what let's say the city consists of uh kumasi and what accra And what? I say Fosu. Okay, so Fosu, right? Let's mm -hmm. say Wenchi. Wenchi. That's the spelling, right? W e n c c h i. W e n c c h okay so let's see uh, mampon mampon uh oh let me put it in the brackets The bracket you put only one or you focus the other side. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, let me see none here. Right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I think it's cool. Seven is cool. Then let's see uh let's see temperature, right? Each each town and their temperature there. 
yeah temperature let's do something like temperature okay so you can calculate kumasi is what let's say kumasi is 75 i cry i cry it's like 90. okay let's say i cry we don't know i cry let's say we don't know Accra and then far five which is for soup let's use 74 inch then let me use uh, 55 or none for yeah let me use 80 so we have one two three four five six last one Repeat is, the number. Okay. Is that what? Okay, I should repeat, repeat the number. Repeat. Okay. So let's say uh let me repeat. Okay. I think these two is cool, right? Okay. This two is cool. Uh, why, why, why? Temperature, come on here. Tell your feet to the man, come on. Yeah, sure, thank you. Okay. So let me say IMO equals DM dot data frame to bracket IMO. I am for live. Okay, good. Um, please share with us. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Okay, so the same thing, right? So here the same thing instead of uh instead of uh instead of mood sorry instead of mean we did what mood right so i m o then we are working with what we are come to fit in the but we have to do some changes here changes here the city column we don't have the, it's unique, right? All the values there are unique. Oh, so please scroll up again. Okay, so here let's me make one of. Let me make this one Kumase, right? So that we oh, can. why would you use the temperature rather as the, the value since there are different cities but some of them have the same temperatures so you you check the missing in the mode so you you, you 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 work with it separately we work with the city the most occurring the city and then the most occurring temperature i good mm, yeah okay <sighs> yes it's happening Oh, 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 let me fix this. I don't know where. Okay, let me clean everything. So we have Kumasi, then we have uh, Tema, right? So we have Tema. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Please check, four, please check the, six, the codes. The codes. Yeah, it's seven seven. So let me make one more here. 
check the codes. The kuma after the second kuma, I say first the k is small letter, and then secondly, there's no ending codes after kuma say, okay. and then tema. There's no codes there. Okay, okay, okay. Something is not right with my keys. Yes. Oh. That's what I'm. F Just right now. I don't know where I press. KFC. Okay, now uh, it's, it's working now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it seven or six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Need to add one more. Okay, so let me copy one more, right? So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is cool, let me rerun it again. Good. Okay. So here I'll say city. Okay. City dot field now. All right. Then M O Okay. So dot mood. Then here Pass the zero perimeter, then here I'll say in place equals true. So let me copy and paste it again. So let me use the same thing for salary. And then the salary. Expected in place. Okay. In place. Yeah, they're in place. Good. L here and then L here. Why, 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 why? The salary. Salary. I'm using temperature and I'm writing salary. Oh, okay. So, okay. So let me, uh, let me paste it here. Let me paste it here too. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, so here let's check the most of current this one. So here is what the now values in the Kumasi, right? Kumasi the most of current. Okay. Okay. Any question? Any any question? So please can you scroll up a little bit?
Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. So let's move to the next one, which is the forward field and then the back field impute. First field and then back field impute. Okay. So let me make a comment here. Forward. Forward field. Back. Backfield. Forward field, backfield, impute. Money. Reputation. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So let's use the same data, right? Let's use the same data. So let me copy it here. Then paste it here. Then let's instead of forward, I will say F. FF FF or the forward FF for the forward right okay. FF for the forward so let me use a DF sorry PD dots Okay. I don't know, maybe is there any girl Okay. Okay. Okay, so Let's use the so this is the data we have, right? And then so for it for you to do the the forward field, we specify the ff that's the, our data field dot forward field. Forward field, then you say in place. I thought that was what she was going to say that in place equals true. In place equals true. Okay, so let me print the FF out. Okay. So yeah, when, we, when we look at the empty, which is all, let's check rule 5. City row five. So here, as I was saying, the the value before the noun value, right, is what thema. So that means the forward will take the all the thema. So here we change into what into thema. So let's come back here. See that here have been changed to the row five has been changed to what to thema. I good. So that's the all the forward, the forward field. Okay. So let's move to the let's move to the backfield. Let's move to backfield. So let me copy this one. So instead of the forward, I'll say back. Okay. I'll say BB equals. Okay, good. Then here we use the odd. We use the BB BB dot what? BB dot B field. That's all uh, the B field to do or uh, to do the say in place. 
was true. Good. Then we check the BB out. Good. So we see that here the the last one is what thermal. So it just picks the last one. The last the last value, right? Which is all thermally. Are you good? Okay, so, so this is the, the uh, last video of the forward field and then the back field. Any any question? Hello? Any question? Please, can you go back to the mode? I want to see something. This one? The mode. The mood. The mood, okay. Why did you place the zero in the square bracket? You said? I see you placed the some zero in the square bracket. Yes. Why? So I'm passing the zero, the zero as a perimeter. Because in the mean, the median, and code, we didn't do yeah, that. Yeah, sure, sure. But for the mode, mode, but for mode, you have to put that. Yeah, there. sure. We see. So that's a what a perimeter. So what happens if you set it at two one? You said. What happens if you set it to two one? Two one. Or if you change the number from zero. It's always supposed to be in zero. I see. Okay. So without it, it will run. Eh? No problem. Please, you can go on. You can move on to where you want. I want to be in your shoes. Be in the meeting. I want to be in the new one was in the video, right? Any questions so far? Please let me see the forward field code. Okay. Uh, please go up a step for me. Please go up again. Up here. No, kill him all. Alright, alright, alright. I hope they are paying him right. So all you did was just do FL and then in place is equal to true. You, you said. All you did was uh, type F fill and then in place is equal to true. Yes, yes, yes. In place is equal to true. Um, or is that because you wanted to do it for all the columns? We could have specified to do it for only temperature or city, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. You, can, you, can, you, can, you can do that. Is it as a yes, laptop charger? I'm not like that with you. Why are you laughing? It's okay. I don't want to talk. I'm too organized. Can we proceed? Yeah, I'm too organized for your comfort. <laughs> That's all. Okay. So let's move to the last one, which is uh, 
encoding categorical variable right encoding categorical variable so yeah this way as i said this simply means that what we are we are changing the categorical the categorical uh, variables into what the numerical variables right okay so let me say encode this one looks like a private one on one class hmm. encoding by utilizing our resource so we have to distract them now hmm. categorical variable okay okay so here yeah, let me do this let me have uh, let's say n nc right n system for encoding categorical encoding categorical so here yeah, let me create a column which is called categorical or category right then inside it let's pass uh, three colors red blue and then green okay so i'll say red then let's say green and then let's see another green then let me say blue say blue then let's say another red then let's say another blue okay Okay, so this is the this is the so for the data we have. And then let me come here and say E D C E C D V yeah so yeah, PDF dot data frame then I'll pass the E C say ah. EC, EC. okay so this is the data we have right that's the one feature and the, the name is what category uh, category okay so for me to use sir, please hold up. Hold up. okay please hold, hold it okay uh -huh. Okay, are you done? Yes. Okay. So here we are using a, a library called Cyclelearn. Cyclelearn. I mean, Cyclelearn is one of the. I mean, one of the the widely used libraries for building machine learning model, right? So they have something called a label encoder. So you are coming to use label encoder in cycle lane. Alright, good. So let me make a comment here. Let's say using label you are using label encoder to do this. Encoder or encoding. Okay. So let's import the label encoder from cycle so you say sklearn dot sklearn dot pre processing pre processing right import label label encoder okay Import label encoder. All 
Okay, good. Now we have we have imported label encoder. I've imported label encoder. So let let me create a variable which is the label encoder label underscore encoder equals this label encoder we have here right so here this label encoder here is what so now we have all, we have assigned it to what this label encoder next one okay are you on the same point hello 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 can you hear me yeah we can hear you yes, okay okay so my data frame then the the one so let's create a new column for for this encoder right so we are coming to create a new column for it so let me create a new column and i'll call the column encoder let me say encoder Enco encoder good the label encoder dot fit right i'm fitting it into what into the categorical i'm fitting it into categorical so i'll say dot fit transform then here my the column i wanted to uh, to encode the column i want to encode which is what which is the category what is the category? Uh, category. Right. What is the category? Okay. Then I'll print the ECV out. Print the ECV out. So here, I've heard, now I've heard, I've heard, I will encode the old yes. yes. Yes, please. Can you go up? Go up to where the the dictionary is. Dictionary. Okay. I've pasted in the in the message box. I see only category here. So when did you add the other other words? This one, the encoder. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I create okay. a new column, which is what this one. Uh -huh. right so here the okay. main idea of we doing this is that we wanted to change what we wanted to change uh categorical data into what into numeric so that's the category here this one the category column right so here previously we have the category column here so we are changing we want to encode this one right you see the uh, the label encoder from psyche lane i good now so here we i we imported the label encoder from what from uh, sklearn which is the cycle learn dot preprocessing then here i create a variable call label encoder then assign it to the label encoder this one i good so this label encoder is what the one from the cycle learn then I've, I've assigned it to the label encoder then here I create a, a new field or a new feature or a new column which is what encoder right encoder then here this is the one so here the field uh, the values in this one is for what encoder of the category that's the categorical part of the of the category field I go so this the this label encoder this one is the, uh, here i bring it here then i use the, the transform the transform function to transform the category data which is this one 
into what into numeric which is this one are you good you are transforming the categoric data into a numeric data. good into numeric right okay. yes so why didn't we just use a as type as type okay so the i type i type deal with the i type deal with the the data type right mm -hmm. so here we are we, we are encoding everything here so that's why i say so here according to the label encoder label encoder you zero for what? for blue one for green and then two for red right so this one here is what <coughs> All the categorical data here is the same as all the the the, the values here, which is the encoder, encoder column. Okay. Very good. So as type deal with the data type. If let's say you wanted to change the data type, fine. So here even we we can't change this uh this data sorry this categorical data type into let's say float. Why why because it contains a string. This is a string. So before we can even change it to float, we have to what, encode it, which is the one we have done here, right? Then let's say from okay. numbers to the as type. Are you good? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Any question? Uh, yeah, Samuel. Uh, so. Can you import the label encoder as label uh, underscore encoder direct or by force? You have to bring the SKLN processor. Yes. So here SKLN, the label encoder is in inside the SKLN. SKLN. Right. Which is the, the full meaning the cycle Right. So here we said that from SKLN dot preprocessing imports the label encoder. So this label encoder is inside the or the pre-processing inside the cycle lane. Are you good? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, so now that we have encoded, what, what can it help us do? What, what is the relevance? So here, yeah, let's go back to the... Let's, okay, let's go back to the slides, our slide, right? Let's go back to our slide. Uh, let's go back to our slide. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, I've been talking all this while. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Okay. So here, the, <coughs> the encoding categorical variable. So here, machine learning algorithm typically required a numerical input. Right? Yeah, so here, that means when you are working with machine learning, we are building model in machine learning. It's what it only requires numerical input, right? So if your data include categorical variable, let's say that's example red, blue, and green, you might need to, uh, to encode them into what uh, into numerical values. Are you good? So here, when you are working with machine learning, and then we have a data like like 
this which is the blue red and green we have to change this one to what to numbers which is numerical variables before, before mm -hmm. machine learning can accept that input are you good yeah yes. so here the normally the the what uh, the label encoder deal with what when you are building a machine learning model that's where you because we, we say that machine doesn't your machine only understands what zeros and ones right mm -hmm. and then we have this categorical data and machine only understand what numerical data so that means you have to change the categorical data into what into the numerical data mm -hmm. before the machine can accept as input yeah. are, are you good yeah yes. sure okay some yeah daniel yeah so the label code does the library way import yeah. it automatically assigns numbers to each color yes assign numbers to each color yes so here yes assign numbers to each but let's say if you also have a different data let's say it's not color it can be name right let's say male and female or let's say it can be any other forms right any other form of categorical data it will automatically will assign a value to it i agree so you going through you realize that uh, yes so sometimes male and female use it uses zero for female and one for one for male and sometimes to it is all depends on the data sometimes to it uses what uh, the first the first value will be zero the second value will be one depending on the data we have are you good yeah i'm good but i want to understand that it's assigning the number to the data we have is it randomly because let's say uh -huh. we have the colors red blue and let's say green okay. and i run it and it assigns the numbers as zero one two and three okay. and i come back another time and run the same colors and it will, it will assign me different numbers to those colors no 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 it will be the same numbers okay. yes okay i understand so here we realize that all the all the green are out one then the red are out all right right and then the zero uh, the blue are zeros okay yeah. thank you Somewhere. Okay, so it means that in machine learning, red is two, green is one, and blue is zero, right? Uh, I I won't say that. It all depends on the. So here, you can we can also use something called lambda lambda function to also encode your categorical uh, uh categorical variables, right? So I won't say the uh, blue is one. No, I won't. I won't say that. Okay, let me let me show you one example here. I think. Let me show you. Let me try to show you one example here. Uh, I'm coming there. Let me show you example here. Okay, Amos, while you are finding your example, I just tried to introduce some new colors into the my set. And then I realized that uh, the, the number assigned to blue changed. Uh -huh. The number assigned to green Change. changed. Yes. Yeah, so, so I think that uh, in response to Daniel's question, yes. that whenever the set remains the same that is the categories the items in the category are are the same the code assigned to them will remain the same for their yes. reference but immediately you introduce new cat uh, items in the category then you should know that the encoder will also re-evaluate what is in the category and then assign new numbers 
so that it will make sense. So, like, it depends on the data set, how large it is. It depends on the data setting, yes. But I think it arranges the, the items in the category in alphabetical order. So, so when it does that, then you can see, you can predict how the, the, the encoding will go. So the zero is assigned to the, the, the value or the item that is closest or that begins in the, in the after it has been arranged or sorted from A to Z. Right, so I put black, I put blue, I put violet, and so green and red are also there. So when you see it, you see that black now became zero. First it was blue, but now black became zero. So blue moved to position one. Yeah, all right. All right. Um, okay. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. So here, this this is a. So here, I, I build a model, right? So let me let me start from this side. So here, this is a. I've built a machine learning model that can de uh, determine if your 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 message is on harm or spam i good good so here let's say here this is the training uh, the the training data right the data I used to train the model right so it, if the machine sees something similar like uh, go like some a message like this right that means what a similar message like it, that means what is harm right and then if the message the model also sees similar message like this that means what it's a spam are you good now here the the machine as i said the uh, machine doesn't understand what zeros and ones right so here i have to uh, encode this one into uh, into numeric this is my target that's the category right so the category consists of two different or two different uh, values harm and spam i good so here here i didn't use the label encoder i use the lambda functions i use lambda functions to do or to encode to encode the, or the harm and spam so here i said that if if the uh, if harm is equal to make zero, I make zero to what? Here all the harms are out. I use the lambda function, so all the harms are out are zero, and then the spam are one. I good. Then after that, I'll drop this column. So instead of assigning the message to the category, I rather assign the message to the one to the spam. Then I deleted the all the categorical column. I good. So here I didn't use the label encoder. I can use the label encoder, but here I go by the, the lambda function to do that. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So this, I mean, one <coughs> one example of of the encoder right okay <clears throat> so let's move to the next one I think that one will be our final one, which is the the KNN imputation, right? Let's use the KNN imputation. Okay. So now let's let's first of all we are, let's understand how the KNN imputation works, right? Let's understand how it works. So let me have 
So here, <laughs> okay. So KNN imputation is a is a technique used to fill in missing values in a data set by estimating those missing values based on the values of the nearest neighbor, right? So it uses the odd. It uses the nearest neighbor values to do what to estimate it what its missing values, right? Okay, so the basic idea behind the KNN imputation is to find the K closest data point. That's all the closest point of K. So the K stands for the uh, uh, number of what number of nearest neighbors, right? To the instance with the missing values and use their known values to impute the missing values okay so let's let me screw that so this is the original data we have so we have a data consists of age and what and income so 25 years which is for 5000 30 years which is for 6000 and so on now 28 is what that's the 28 the missing value i agree 28 is the missing value now we wanted to do a, we wanted to estimate this one this missing values here which is the the 28 i agree the 28 years income okay <coughs> so here we set i said the we said the the k to three that's our three nearest neighbor right three nearest neighbor of what of 28 so here point one calculate the distance between the between the instance with the missing value 20 28 years 20 years old and all other instances so identify the three nearest neighbor what is what three nearest neighbor so when you take 28 28 uh, years uh, nearest neighbor will be what will be 22 because 22 is close to what 28 right and then Yes, yeah, so we are choosing three of the whole data set. Three that is what three is that is close to twenty-eight. So twenty-two, as I said, twenty-two is close to uh twenty-two is close to twenty-eight, thirty is also close to twenty-eight and odd, and twenty-five is also close to twenty-eight. So these are the odd these are the the closest or the closest neighbor of what of twenty-eight. I good. Then here, mm -hmm. their income. We take their income. We find the average of this three uh, uh, income. Their income, which is 28, 30, and 22. Right? So 20, 22 have, 25 have 50,000, 30 has 60,000, and 22 has 30,000. We find the average of this, which is what? Which is this one, right? The average of all these three incomes is for this one. Then we impute it into what? Into 28. Are you good? We impute it into 28. So that's how the, uh, the KNN works. We can also set the the three, that's the number of, uh, number of nearest neighbor to, uh, to two or five or it depending on what the, the kind of the kind of values you want right so you are putting it to this i think it falls between what it falls between the income it's not too far from the values here right are you good that's how the the k and n works okay Any question?
End of question. Hello. Oh. Any question? No. No question. No question. Okay. That's me. That that we understand the whole thing, right? Okay, fine. Okay, so um, Amos, yeah. if we had a uh, multiple values, let's say twenty-five, one is fifty thousand, the twenty-five no, another one two is seventy thousand, the third one is sixty thousand, the third another one is also maybe ninety-five thousand. In this equation, is it going to pick all the thirties, all their uh, incomes? And then add it in the average is going to calculate. Okay, yeah, your question again. You say on the twenty each, right? Yeah, it's looking for the, the nearest neighbor, is that not yeah the nearest neighbor? Yeah. The nearest neighbor, okay. Now if the, the nearest neighbors are are multiples, maybe I set it to three. Three. And then it's seeing twenty-five, it's seeing thirty and twenty-two. But those ages there are multiple ages in it like that okay 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 uh -huh. but with different incomes how is it going to impute that the same age with different what? salaries or incomes yeah it, it it will pick it it will pick it, so instead of the three it will pick uh, five different figures no it's no it won't pick it will still pick three because we said the nearest neighbor to three right so what it's looking for is what the closest value right so if you see 30 with three different values to pick only the 30 to pick the 30. i see okay so let's let's start let's start the practical part of it Okay. Okay. So let's let me make here K and N K and N imputation. Okay. Okay. So let's let's import let's import. Oh, hello. Please, can you mute yourself? Okay. So let's import the library, the K and N imputer, right? So we say from SKLN from SKLN from SKLN dot impute from SKLN dot impute imports K and N right import K and N good now we are also using one library called uh, numpy right call numpy which is bomb is you need numpy right so we import the numpy library which is np okay good so now let's <laughs> let's create our data right so let me see let me use knn knn equals let's create our data so here let me use let's say feature one feature two and feature three right so i'll say feature feature one here as my column name if you then inside it uh let me say five eight and then no that's the empty <laughs> then let me say uh 10 
Okay, then let me say 12, 15, and then no. Okay. Then let's go to future 2. Like when you wake up, you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, future, they are going here. Let's go. They are going there. Kind of thing. Future 2. Okay. So let me say then 20. Exactly. Yeah. Who don't want the responsibility? Then let me say 30. Uh, 30, let me say, uh, 50. And then let me say, no, and then let me add 70 to it, right. So let me count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So now we have 7. Okay, let me add one more. Let me add one more feature to it, which is what feature, let's say feature 3. Feature 3. Okay. 100. No, let's say 150. Let's say no. Let me say 200. So so let me say no, and then let me say one more. That's two fifty. So one, two, no, three, I'm four, five, six, seven. I'm okay, good. Okay. So that's all. Our data. data. Now let me use the KNN equals. But let me put it in the data frame. To a point where I can move from here to the house. Okay, so, and so now this is the data we have, oh, you, you right? This is our data. Other tasks and then add yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah. To okay. Point where I can leave the regular job. Let's go and you know. This is our data. Now let's start applying the impute, the you impute techniques. So, wait, scroll up so that I can get the data, the yeah. picture. You can slow down and then. Do okay, that. picture. Okay, let me the feature. Okay, let me let me copy it in the group. Okay, so in it's in the the comment section. Okay. So the next step is let's create the the KNN impute with two nearest neighbor, right? So I will create a variable and call it imputer. Imputer, then I will say KNN imputer. Then I'm pa I'm passing the or the end. That's the nearest neighbor to what? <coughs> to let's say two. I'm passing it to two. So let me make, let me create a comment here and said create a K and N imputer with with two two neighbors, right? Two ne neighbors. Okay, good. So Two neighbors. Okay. So the next step is I'm now I'm now coming to work to make some perform the imputation, right? I'm now coming to perform the imputation. Good. So let me create another variable called df underscore imputer equals the imputer the imputer which is this one this imputer is this right the dot transform dot transform then inside the transform then i'm transforming what i'm transforming this k and n right so the k and n say k and n right so let me make a comment here saying 
perform perform K and N imputation imputation okay good perform K and N imputation okay Okay, let me run it okay good so now it runs successfully so here the next step is we have to convert the imputation array back to the to the data frame now we have already imputed right we are already make use the knn to do the imputation now we are taking the uh, the imputation back to the to the data frame right we are taking it back to the data frame so here let me create another variable called df underscore impute that's okay imputed that we have already imputed equals df dot that's the data frame right okay so inside this we pass this parameter i'll pass the the df i'll pass this df oh sorry right. where's the top key why is this one like okay imputer right which is this one right which is this one okay so let me even copy it let me copy it here right then here i'll please remove the space is that what? okay Thanks. <laughs> Uh, you are saying something please you can proceed i'm watching okay, okay. so here yeah, we set the columns right the columns we are okay we are coming to work with <coughs> i'm sorry okay so here i'll say column Like column equals uh, equals that's the k and n dot dot columns okay then let me run this code good now here i can print my out i can print my my uh DF imputed. DF okay. So imputed. Good. So this is the outcome. Right. Yes, yeah, someone is. Oh, someone is asking error. Oh, it was an error when I run my code. Okay. Which one? Okay. Uh huh. Nana, Nana, you are you are saying something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um. Okay. Let me share your screen. Right. Uh -huh. We are waiting for you on another queer. Okay. So scroll that. Okay. So perform. So scroll down. Let me see the error. Scroll down. 
Okay, so type error. Roll number, not dictionary. So argument must be string. Or real number, not dictionary. Okay, scroll. So scroll top. Let me see where the the number. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. So let me check. That's a uh, six, right? Okay. Real number, not dictionary. Yeah, yeah, Daniel. Yeah, yeah, Daniel. Okay, all the errors is. Uh, transform key and in. Check the let me check here. So impute I'm coming right. Yeah, was are you comparing it with yours? Yes, I'm comparing it with mine and see the way the error is coming. Let's just go up a line and let's see where she's from. Yeah, go go up because he, he, she has the data frame all right but the, the error is coming from the performance side the df imputation dot transform transform now we are transforming the k and then imputation rerun it again let me see we run the the same Part again. Hello, I said rerun the, the same thing again. Let me see because see the code is correct, but so here check check your your impulse. I don't know whether it's N or M. Yes. No, you have to. If you change it there, then you have to change the one after the equal sign. The lowest yeah, yeah, one. the lowest one. Yes. So change it here too. No, that place. That place should be the same. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. I can't even see the, the text very well. Mm. So, is it is it the imputer? Is it M or N? It's M. M for mouse. Yeah, yeah. Or N yeah. for M for M for mouse. So, scroll, scroll. Let me see. Scroll down. Let me see the arrow this time around. <laughs> Dictionary. Okay. Error. Argument must be string. Okay. Okay. So check the the how you do the bracket. The, is it the bracket or yeah, because the bracket too is correct. Oh, oh okay you don't worry I'll, I'll share the i'll share mine with you so you you then go to the correct the error right okay
when you share yours, then you go up and then I'll see something. And the error is coming from this side. The error is coming from this side. So Nana, if you can check mine, then. Okay. Go up a step and let me see yours. Step, step, step. Mm, okay. Has she imported the KNN imputer? Yeah, the from Cyclean. Yeah, I'm I'm sure she has yeah. she has done that. Okay, so the 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 nearest the end nearest neighbor, if you change it, it will affect the whole thing. So let's say when you change it to four, sorry, to three, then we rerun the code. It will it affect the data, right? Yes, yes. So yeah, if you change it to two two, then but normally. The the <coughs> the number of n the num uh, the key that the n nearest the n neighbors always should be in the form of odd numbers, right? Yeah, odd numbers, not even number. Okay. So that's all about future engineering. Please why? Because if you are finding the average, right? The the odd the odd normal <coughs> the odd normal will be will give you more like more accurate value than the even numbers, right? Yes. Mm, okay. Okay, so that's all about there. There's a lot in uh, about feature engineer, as I said. Feature engineering is, is a whole thing on its own. So uh, you can, I'll share the slides with you so that you can do more. But because we are doing data analytics, I think handle missing value is the basically is the. Yeah, it's cool. It's good for you to know the missing values. How to handle missing values? Are you good? Okay. So, if someone wanted to add something, you can add. Any addition you wanted to add to what we have done so far? Okay. Yes, sir. So, I don't. I don't understand why I got um key error in one of my. <laughs> okay, let me share my screen. Then. You oh, key it. error, right? Okay. Yes. No, sir, that's no, sir, that's sir. Sir, that's sir. Uh, remove gen okay key error so scroll down let me see the error scroll down okay gender not found in the houses okay so go top so that means you have already removed the gender has been already removed right 
the agenda has already removed. So yeah, restart the candle. Go to click on candle so that you can restart the whole thing. Candle, then yeah, rerun it. Restart and run. Yeah. Okay, so go back, go to that side. Okay, so now it has been removed, right? You you write you run it multiple times. Yes. yes. Oh. Okay. okay so that's all about we have to we have to leave for the day so uh, we are done for the day right if there's no question let's let's end here then continue on tomorrow Okay. So have a have a nice day.